What happens when you get into debt? Get out, Mel. Come back with a police officer. Can't force me. You calm down. And you can't. I haven't got any money. Or won't pay it back. Get off on my property. In this series, we meet the people who are losing their homes. Hello, would you like to open the door? I've got 24 hours to find somewhere else to go. Their cars. Can you pay this yes or not? I can't go with you now. I'm no good to take your car. And their possessions. Can't afford to pay the rent, but £700 telly. We meet the people who are owed money. Just got taken advantage of, big time. And the people whose job it is to collect it. I don't want to touch that. Don't panic. Because when you can't pay, they'll take it away. We'll start unplugging and uh, get things wrapped up for transportation. You pay me, and then I'll start. Brand new figures suggest that the UK's total interest repayments on personal debt now stands at £59.2 billion a year. That's £162 million per day. Household debt in the UK is at an all-time high and is getting worse. High Court Enforcement Agents Brian O'Shaughnessy and Graham Aldred are the last word in collecting from those who can't or won't pay. Today they're in Brighton to find the owner of a health spa who owes over £20,000. Good morning, how are you? Hello. Thank you. Is the owner in, our managing director? Hello, thank you. Hello, my name's Graham Aldred. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. Hello. I've been sent here today about an outstanding writ. For money's owing to them, you made a, a court case against them. Yeah, and you lost it. In... Correct, in huh? Have you made payment to them? Oh, yes. As per the judgment? Yes. If you can show me receipts, fantastic. After losing a court battle against three other companies, the spa owner now owes over £20,000 for legal costs. As she is taking further legal action, she thought that she didn't have to pay this yet. The agent's arrival is plainly a shock. I didn't know there was anything against me. Okay. Because everything's done according as far We'll make some checks as well. We'll do some checks. No problem. The owner claims she hasn't received the writ. She makes a call to her barrister. Good morning. I've got a little problem here. I've got general... The, the, high Court. Uh, high Court. The High Court. They're here to enforce the writs. I thought everything's under control anyhow. So what is going on? The barrister okay. wants to talk to the agents to clarify the source of the writ. <coughs> Who's this? Who's my barrister? Good morning. Took them to court on the 6th of February and lost the case. That's right. Well, we're here, obviously, to collect the mon money's owing. That was from a court, the request for money to be paid by a certain date, and it hasn't been done. A letter was sent to this property on the 15th of August, 2014. Yeah, but me a second, sir. The spa owner's barrister accepts that the writ is valid. I've never received a copy. Brian and Graham are not here to argue. They want to collect payment in full, or they'll seize assets to the same value. As you heard, I'm talking to my barrister. I really never had a copy of it. You have, can see all my documents I have received okay. from them, and they can't enforce something. Well, I haven't got a copy. We can enforce it, actually. Yes. The debt I needs to be paid. It. That's what we're here for. The debt needs to be well, paid today. I haven't got the money to pay you, so okay, I then... guess I'll get, it, get time to sort it out. Right. Well, you've had time. You've had since February yes. to do this. On the 6th of February 2014, three defendants you, you took to court, yeah? Which is all under control. OK. We are well, it's, with it's not, obviously, because we're here. But if you allow me to explain... OK, go on up. The whole idea was they're all waiting, because I'm suing my solicitor for misjudgment of the case, and they agreed to wait until the outcome of the case. I can show you all the paperwork back okay. and forth. You have got all the file, and I can show you that. We're not here to look at the file. We're here to yeah, to satisfy the court order. Can, yeah. I just, can, I, can I just make another point? We'll listen to you. 
Um, you suing your solicitor. Yes. Nothing, nothing to do. To do this case. We need to get payment now. If not, we need to look at assets to remove inside I the property. I have no assets here. Most of this building joined to different businesses. Okay, well. I haven't got nothing. As a High Court enforcement agent, judging what's in front of you is the most difficult part of the job. It's weighing up the whole situation. It's pushing the job as far as you can and then retracting. You have to push the boundaries. You have to see how far debtors can go. OK, shall we, shall we crack on? We're going to go and walk around now and list everything, OK? Let me allow this call to come up here. I'll have a look at the paperwork and the invoices and stuff. Yeah. No, you can't touch this one. That's been sold. That's okay. not belong to me at all. No, okay. no, no, you can't touch this. OK, I need to see the receipt for it, then. I'll leave it once I've seen the receipt. I haven't got the receipt. Well, then, I'll be, seize, I'll be seizing it. To prevent the agent seizing goods in the building, the owner needs to prove they're not hers. She gets her accountant on the phone. Hello. Well, it's for a bit of equipment. She keeps sending it to other people's, then. I need to, I need to see... That's fine. Perfect. I need, I need to see receipts from the party that owns them, then. That's fine. I haven't got the receipts, because they're here on loan at the moment. Well, then, we need to see any agreements. No, no, I can OK, I'll pass you back to her, sir. Graham, why are you asking if you can pay it? Why are you asking if you can pay it? He's the accountant. That's sex with he said, we can't. There's no way we can pay that. The owner can't supply any receipts. Instead, she shows the agents the only things she claims are hers. And all of that stuff, which is sitting right in front of this building, belong to me. It has cost nearly 100 grand. Just because there are assets there, it doesn't mean we want to take them if you don't, if you don't pay it. We will push again as far as we can, but we want the full payment. And we make it clear that a possible outcome, if you don't pay it, will be removal of those assets. You get an evaluation on this, sir? I'm trying to. Has she, has she got any receipts for them? That's what yeah, I've asked for already. And what's she saying? She hasn't got them here. Has she got anything? No. She's got stock here, which she claims is worth between 50 and 100 grand. I haven't got a clue what its value is. Seizing goods and equipment is always the agent's last resort. They must now hope they can persuade the owner to find over £20,000 and fast. Just trying to look at what it actually looks so I know what I'm looking at. Apparently it's for her loss. I need some, definitely. She says she's the only stockist of this in England. I need to know how much it's worth. But to actually find this product, I'm struggling with. With Graham unsure about the value of the hair loss product, he has a dilemma. He needs payment, but doesn't want to shut the business down to get it. He decides to make the owner an offer. Now, the amount outstanding at the moment is... ..20,225.50. Now, can you pay that over three payments? I need £6,750 today, basically, and then I can set you up over three, another two payments. But if you can't do that, then I, I am going to have to look at removing today. There's nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. I'm trying to work with you here. I, I do understand. I yeah. Appreciate. Payment one today of 6,741 dollars The only one I can <clears> use is 2400 OK, then it's then not good I enough. Can try to organise something for next week for no. Graham's offer is a good one, but if the spa owner turns it down, Graham will have no alternative but to take goods or equipment away. We're not nice, oh, let's take everything and they can't trade anymore. Why? We don't, mm. we don't want to do that. Mm. Um, the courts never want to do that. Individuals never want to do that. But they have to pay, you know? OK, so what will happen today is the machine will be removed today. OK, my colleague's now calling a vehicle to come here. Uh, Wait, why are you moving? I'm going to remove the machinery. Some of the specialist equipment in the spa is expensive. Selling it will almost certainly cover the debt. The point is, I can't. Okay, you need to raise six and a half thousand pounds today. If you can't, then I'm going to be removing goods. Okay? I'm trying to work with you here. You owe twenty-one thousand pounds. I'm trying to say, split it over three payments. What? Who do I pay? The... Me. Bank transfer. I'll give you details to my company, DCBO. We set tight deadlines so that the debt can be paid to the, the creditor as soon as possible. I mean, it all works on what the, de the defendant or the debtor can afford. There's no point in putting someone on an arrangement that they can't afford every month. What, who do I pay the... Me. Uh, if, 
Will you say your kind of bank transfer? Bank transfer, I'll give you details to my company. And then I'll set you up on a monthly arrangement for the same in three months' time. It'll be cleared, done, finished. That's how much needs to be transferred. The spa owner is suddenly taking Graham's offer more seriously. He gives her a few moments to consider her options. I think I've got through to her. Uh, I'm hoping now she's on the phone to someone to try and get the 6,700 paid today, and then I can set her up on the arrangement for the next couple of months to get it all sorted out. So, fingers crossed. As a result, that's fine, but if I ain't paid on by midday, I'm straight back down here. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, yeah. All right? Just thought I'd keep you informed, that's all. What Graham's done is he's chopped into three payments, clear the balance, and I think that's reasonable. It's about them trading and keeping them going so they can pay it. I'm going to speak to the, the claimant now and then say, look, you know, it's a good option. But I think they'll, they'll keep with it. Having initially said that she can't pay, the spa owner now finds the cash. And the amount is, is £1,741.83. It's to be immediate transfer, well, so I can check. Pardon? Immediate transfer, then I can check with our office. Once yeah. it's paid, then I can He's go. doing it now. He's going to perfect, do it now. Perfect, perfect. So who do you make a payable to? Uh, D, sorry, DCBL. DCBL. Thank, thank you. Thank you. It's done. It's done. Graham's negotiation skills have worked. The spa owner will need to make two more payments on the dates agreed with the agents, then the debt will be gone. Yeah. Well done. Thank okay, you so thank much. Thank you very much. All right. And please, please keep up to date with the payments, yeah? Cheers. Bye-bye now. I honestly thought we were removing there. Um, I'm glad we didn't, though, to be fair, because um, we don't want to shut them down, really, do we? But you can understand that was a big debt. It's a tug of war, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's, it it's, 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 it's trying to... <laughs> I mean, so, at yeah. the end of the day, the client wants the money. These people still want to work and, and earn money, so the best way is to come up to an arrangement that suits both of them. You know what I mean? It's and keeping, and it has done. It's keeping everybody happy. It's keeping everybody happy, that's right. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Yep. According to latest figures from the Citizens Advice Bureau, they are now dealing with over 6,000 new debt problems every working day. Brian and Graham's next job is in Peckham, South London. They're joined by fellow agent Kevin Stokes. Right here, guys. Once again, unpaid legal fees have resulted in a High Court writ being issued. It's really day, isn't it? Do you know what? It's nice and sunny, but it is cold. But before it can be enforced, however, the agents must find the debtor. Can we get through there, guys? And that will require them to play detective. Always good to keep a look at upstairs. Little curtain twitch. There's no response. Graham leaves a letter to say they'll be back, but a workman thinks that a woman has just left the premises. Just gone out, mate. They walked off down there, two children. Still run. We'll get a left left on it. It's bus visit on this anyway. Ten minutes ago. We'll get you that posting. Uh, hopefully they'll contact us, if not, then obviously we'll come back and, and do a revisit on it. But just as they are about to leave, a woman is spotted returning to the property. One of the workmen around the road has just said uh, that she's just come back in, so hopefully we'll find out we'll get a, either a result on this, either way, hopefully, if it's her husband, ex-husband, don't know, until we get there now. It could be a new tenant, but we'll soon find out. <laughs> Morning, how are you? Is that only my address? That's fine. That's fine. That's all we need to know. Have you? Yeah. How long have you lived there? It's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. Yeah. Don't stress out. It's fine. Don't stress. Do you know him? It's my baby's father. Ah, right. OK, OK. Yeah. Does he live here? No. OK. It's not uncommon for people to throw us off the scent and, and just makes our job a little more difficult. It just means we have to be a bit more nosy. OK. Experience tells the agents to take nothing on trust. They need to be 100% sure this isn't the defendant's home. If you assist us in our job, then we'll be out within minutes. If you become obstructive and difficult and not forthcoming, we will look further into the situation we're in. 
So it's just about jumping the hurdles that are put in front of you. So you've lived here two years, yeah? And your council tax bill, please, if you've got it. While Graham chats to the woman, Kevin has a quick look around the home. Now we need to investigate a little bit further and if there's men's clothes hanging up all over the place, then it just uh, takes a little bit of investigating work now. Well, there's letters here for him. Yeah, but not... But so... opened. No, no, no. The, so, let no. the letter's Why? opened. No, no, no. Because it's my baby's father, okay. I don't know what he's capable of doing. I don't want to, I don't, this kind of I don't want okay. this, this, I don't want this kind of things. She states that the dad doesn't live with her, it's the father of her children. So we just need to d determine that. In that wardrobe there, there's all men's clothes. Yeah, it's my boyfriend. OK. We've got a contact number for him. The woman's answers aren't convincing. Mm. As High Court enforcement agents, we won't leave a property or a place until we are satisfied that that person doesn't live there or reside there. Yeah, my suspicions were correct. She said that there was no men living in the house. Um, I found letters opened in his, name. in his name on the side. The presence of men's clothes, personal effects and correspondence all point in one direction. It's the defendant who lives here. We've got reason to believe he does live here. So you see all this money? Yeah, he owes this money, yes. Can you give him a call, please, madam? Yeah. Yes, please. It's time for a call to the defendant. There are three, three guys here. They say they're looking, they're looking for you. They gave them this address. So they're going around the house. Oh, you want to speak to them? Okay. Hello. My name is uh, Mr Stokes, High Court Enforcement Agent. We're here today with uh, High Court Ritz. No, you've got no, no idea about this, no? OK. Um, there is an outstanding balance to pay, sir. It's £1,844.21, £1, £1, £1, sir, today. Um, yeah, I'm not... I've got reason to believe he lives here. Are you able to pay this, sir? OK, OK, and I'm here to inform you that this money needs to be paid immediately. Sir, it's been handed over to the High Court now, OK? We are dealing with it. What do you mean there's no such thing as the High Court? The defendant is at work and maintains that he knows nothing about a debt. Graham begins taking an inventory of household goods. The outcome of this, if it doesn't get paid, because we believe he still lives here. Mm -hmm. okay. So you're not writing down all my stuff? For yeah, possible removal, yes. No way! No! OK. Why are you writing? TV or what? No. OK. These are my... OK, that's fine. If you can prove that, that's These fine. These are my properties. OK, that's fine. If you can prove that, that's fine. If I can prove that? Yes, 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 please. <laughs> OK, that's fine. If you can prove it, perfect. OK? When you're in a debtor's house, especially when there's children or the wife's there, the wife's having to deal with it. You know, the debtor's out of the house, you know, you do what you want, I'm not there, or you can't do anything because I'm not there. Well, that's not always the case. It's finding the right buttons to push, so to speak. You would rather just impair the debt and then we'll go. We'll issue a receipt and we'll go. But he needs to pay the debt now while we're here. Mother, if you pay the debt and go, you're not coming back again. No, no, no. If he pays the debt, we're gone. We're finished. It's finished. Nothing is going to happen again. No, nothing at all. It's done. Once he's paid this, that's it. It's finished. But there's a problem. The debtor is digging his heels in. OK, sir. Well, if you're not paying, I'll take that as a refusal to pay and we'll have to escalate it up to the next stage and uh, we'll be looking to recover goods, sir. OK? No, you're not going to take my stuff out, please. This one belongs to me. It's my would, stuff. Would you, would, you like me to hand, would you like me to hand you back to the lady, sir? Please. OK, I'll, I'll, I'll pass you back over, sir. Can he, can he pay it, yes or no? Because we need to obviously get things moving now. I come up with that in a school. I, I come in and I know what they wait for me, right? How can I stop them? They're standing right in front of me here and they want to start picking up the stuff. He said you should go to his working place and meet him there. No, we're, we're here. He said I need to move one he... step from this house. The agent's pressure finally pays off. The debtor agrees to pay. If you want to, you can come here. You can't leave your work. OK, one second. Someone go down there and take pay? One of us waiting. Yeah. It's ten minutes away. Brian? Give me, sir, give me one minute. I'm just going to see if someone can pop down to you and pick up the... Are you paying, though? Because I don't want to waste anybody's time, OK? She'd obviously vented her anger at him down the phone, which obviously triggered him to pay. 
You can't leave. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine, I'll go down. Yeah? You, yeah. I'll wait here. Yeah, it's fine. You go with him. OK, sir. OK, firstly, I need your contact number. Kevin and I are going, yeah? Um, he wants to meet us and pay chip and pin, which is fine to the wife. He's a bit relieved, which is understandable. There's three of us here, you can understand it. So we're going to go now. We're going to go and get the payment. To be on the safe side, Graham will stay behind at the house. I'll make you a cup of tea, come on. Yeah? Listen, sit down, please. Brian and Kevin head off in search of the defendant. The agents have arranged to meet the defendant outside his workplace. Finally, he appears. I, I, we're, we're trying to respect your position and your work, yeah? Right. But if you want to sit here, we'll do the payment in the van, no problem at all. Yeah? Let's sit in the van and do it. Um, how much is it, mate? It's £1,844. Are you I'm going to the Let me go and speak to him. Yeah. He just walked off. I don't think he's happy with what's going on. Kevin's going to go and talk to him. Um, all we want is payment. We tried to sit him in the van and be discreet about it and take the payment. But he's not playing ball. Having finally found their man, Kevin has no intention of letting him out of his sight. If you're not going to, if you're going to keep walking off, we're just going to go back to the house. You're going to give us cash. Of course you can, sir. You'll have a full receipt. Back at the house, with the truth now out, the woman is increasingly concerned about her situation. So am I in trouble? Nothing at all. Don't worry. Once this is paid... Am I in trouble of lying? No, not at all. Not at all. It's just easier if you talk to us at the beginning rather than lying. I know you were scared. I understand. I appreciate that. But just talk to people. That's all you need to do. Be truthful with people. It's fine. It's 15 minutes since the defendant went to the bank. He now returns. Come in, sit down. I'll give you a receipt. Nice. Okay, no problem. Thank you. I will. Well, I don't really know what it is, but to be honest with you, I don't really know. Despite everything, the defendant still claims he has no knowledge of the writ. Oh yeah, paid in full. That's your receipt. Don't don't, don't leave that here. When we get a, a payment in full and the right result, it, it feels great, especially when you, you've had obstacles thrown in front of you, lies, deceitfulness. And you, and you jump over those hurdles and you get the payment, it, it puts a bigger smile on your face, you've done your job the right way and the client's got their money. There's no better feeling. Oh, that's paid, mate. Finding ways to get payment from people who just won't pay is part of an agent's life. But dealing with people who really can't pay poses a different challenge entirely. Listen, I'm not here to make your life difficult, OK? I'm not, OK? <laughs> Listen, can't, please, calm down. Squeezed household budgets, the rising cost of living and a stagnant economy have pushed many families in the UK into financial difficulty. The average consumer credit debt is now over £6,000 per household. High Court enforcement agents Brian and Graham are in Hassocks, Sussex. The debtors owe a childcare agency and have defaulted on a repayment plan. After the final repayment has been paid, nothing else has been paid, so now we are reattending, hopefully. Both parents have jobs, and the agents have scheduled their visit to coincide with someone arriving home from work. She's there, I think. She's at the door, mate. She's at the door. Yeah. You're going for it. You're going for it. Right, fine. She's gone in the door. Yeah. She's gone in. Graham and Brian have timed their visit perfectly. Hello, Miss Hurrell? Yeah. How are you? Okay, Where's Graham you. Aldred, High Court Enforcement? I didn't invite you in. Doesn't matter, the door was open. It's a peaceful and lawful entry, I'm afraid. Okay. I'm here about the outstanding balance that you paid £500 for. Yeah. After my last visit here. Yeah. Uh, when you told us I didn't have a cat in hell's chance of getting the money out of you. I'm here now to execute the warrant. Okay. Okay, so how can you pay? I can pay next Wednesday. One thousand six hundred and fifty nine pounds forty pence. No. Okay, then I'm gonna execute the warrant here at your flat today. Ms. Hurrell's outstanding debt 
is £744.40. But Brian and Graham's fees are another £500 plus. It will leave her with a bill of over £1,100. Can I get one to help you? Someone else. Like who? I'm just asking you a question. I'm only asking. No. You can't. Oh, no. I can't, no. Um, do you understand what's going to happen today? Not really, no. Okay. As far as I was concerned, I was going to get a woman calling me every okay. month to take a card payment from me. So why didn't you call up once she didn't call you? Because I haven't got the number. No, you haven't got the number. OK. I respect that, yeah. Oh, do you want to do a check on the car first? If the defendant can't pay the debt, the agents have the authority to take something away. Her car is the most obvious target. And this is, this is their property. This is the car. It's of no value. If it was a value or an asset or worth money, we'd take it if, if we chose to. What a busy car. Ms. Hurrell maintains that she's not at fault for the unpaid instalment. She blames the people who were collecting the money and wants them to admit their mistake. Hello, it's Lorraine Hurrell. Um, hi, you were going to ring me on the 24th of each month to take a card payment of £190. It's bailiff isn't in attendance at your property at the moment. OK, but we did we did arrange for you to call me, did we not? I haven't arranged anything with you. I've never spoken to you before. You spoke with me to take the £500 payment. I didn't speak with you, Mrs Hurrell. Yes, you okay. did. OK. Um, it is the bailiff you need to speak with. Right, OK. OK. Right, OK, right, Listen, listen, you. listen, listen, listen. It was her. Right, listen, listen, calm down. It's fine. Do you want to come in with me and sit down with me? Yeah, and we'll sort this out. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Come on. I'll shut the door. Me and you. We'll get this sorted. All right, listen. I'm not here to make your life difficult, OK? I'm not. <laughs> OK? Listen, can't, please, calm down. Do you want to make yourself a cup of tea? Make yourself a cup of tea. Come on. You all right? Yeah? Listen, <laughs> we'll sort it. Come on, we'll sort it. We'll sort it. Come on. Despite being upset, Ms Hurrell may be able to pay. Graham needs to establish how much. Come and sit down. Come on. Why is she lying? Now? Right, I know I, I spoke I can't, to her. Right, that's fine. I can't. Sorry, about uh, that. Listen, don't worry. Don't worry, please. Oh, let's start again, yeah? Let's start again. That's your car key. All right. Right. Who lives here with you? My husband. Your husband? So it's you, your partner, and your child, yeah? Yeah. Right. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to look round, yeah? OK, I'm going to look at your circumstances and then we're going to sit down from there and we're going to chat and we're going to get this resolved. OK. All right? OK, not for two seconds. He'll be weighing up the situation um, and seeing what's there and making a judgment call. Let's see what happens. It doesn't need both of us in there. It would just antagonise the situation. That's why I'm out here and he's in there. After a cursory inspection, Graham reaches a decision. If he adds agent's fees to Lorraine's debt, She'll have more financial problems. He opts for a highly unusual course of action. You haven't got goods enough here to remove, OK? okay. The car isn't worth anything as well, so not... <laughs> listen, I'm just... I, I have to state this to you to show you that, obviously, I've, I've done what I'm doing today. Okay. Right. How much can you afford a month to well, get this I paid? I arranged £190. OK, it? OK. Let me just work this out. Right. Three monthly payments. Yeah. Of 188, 46. Can you afford that? Yeah. Yeah. Please don't default it. I've got to reiterate to you. I should have upgraded this to stage two today because of a revisit, okay. which would have put another. Well, you'd have been at 1,100 quid again, basically. All right. I'm not going to do that because of your circumstances. I'm sure you'll sleep better knowing that in three months' time it'll be cleared and done. Bailiffs came because I owe money for childcare um, before my daughter started school. My partner works, I work two jobs, and we're just trying to pay the bills and keep on top of everything. Right, if you could, just read that for me. Listen, I hope everything goes well for you. All right, get this sorted out and then 
Happy days. You're done. It's off your bike. All right? Yeah. Listen, thank you very much for your help today. Thank all right? You. And, uh, like I say, any problems, please give me a call. All right? And I'll do my best to help you out. Uh, I think that was the best situation for that, Brian. Good result, mate. Yeah, it is. It is. It helps her out. I like, I like the fact you didn't charge her. You know. No, I didn't want to, did I? Lorraine has had a rare let off. But if she defaults again, the agents won't be so understanding. Another good result, mate. I've got to keep up to the payments or they'll come again. I don't know what bill I'm going to borrow for, from to, to pay it, so I don't know what's going to happen in that situation. It's not a sympathy issue, it was she's trying. And I've got time for people that are trying, people that will talk to you, people that are trying to get through everything and, and trying to work through everything. We come to an arrangement and, and got it all back on track for her. Recovery Agency has revealed a 25% increase in the past four years among more affluent people needing its help, including professionals and property owners. Brian and Graham's next job is in Donsfold, deep in the Surrey countryside. It's not an area they're familiar with, and just finding the debtor's home is their first challenge. Oh, your puzzle is that one, so we're going there, aren't we? Pardon? Your puzzle is that one, so we're going there, yes. So we're going there because I'm... Yeah. OK, well, let's not go there, because I'm not that puzzle. The agents have a high court writ to collect £3,600 on behalf of a business phone answering service or seize goods of equivalent value. Oh, there's vehicles here anyway, that's his. This one here, you reckon? Yeah, look at it. Claws are in the bike. Got the keys. Are they in it? When going to a nice house or a nice property, it's always a plus sign. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the payment, but there's a better chance. So I'll always assess what's around me and make that decision. A lot of the time, we do get the positive result. Despite a seven-day notice letter being sent, there's been no response from the debtor. But now, he appears. Hello, sir. Hello, there. My name's Graham Aldrin, I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. I've been sent here today with a writ. Good heavens. Well, what's all that about? So, how can you pay this? Well, I haven't got that sort of money. I'm, you know, I'm, I've, um, the business has went bust. OK. But my, mother, my sister's just arrived because we're going to see... My mother's just died. We're going to see her funeral. OK. Tombstone. And, um, I mean, I, I don't have that sort of money on me. OK, cool. so then we'll have to secure debts then to cover the debt outstanding, so to secure goods, I mean, so... What? Oh, the car, sir. That's not my car. Whose car is it, sir? Well, it's it's actually my sister's car. My, it was my mother's car, but um, it's been there okay. for her. Did she, what did they say? His mum's passed away. Did you, your mum's passed away? Storm. Yeah. OK. The defendant claims he can't pay. So you, got, you can't get anyone to help you pay this? Please don't... You don't have to go hey. in the house. Please don't do that. Why? I know you're not allowed to go I'm in the house I'm asking you. By force. I'm not forcing, am I? You were opening the door. That's not you, for, didn't, you didn't that's ask not me That's not forcing it, am I? Didn't I don't need your me. permission to do that, sir. Do you not? No, sir. The defendant's sister appears. Hello, is this your brother? Yes. I believe your mother's just died? Yes. How long ago was that? Sorry. Um... January. It was January, was it? OK, I've just been here, sent here today to obviously speak to your brother. I just wanted to ignore, obviously, when your mother died, that's yes. all. OK, fine, thank you. Thank you for that. So the defendant is being truthful. But the agents need to check what assets they could seize in the event of payment not being made today. When you walk into a property and there's, there's assets there to, to look at to remove, or the, there is goods there to remove, it, that's the trigger. I mean, that's the negotiation point. That's where you need to start talking. Here you go. Oh, you're not allowed in that house. The defendant is becoming increasingly upset. Mate, you're not invited. I don't need an invitation, sir. Call the police, sir. Oh, we don't want you coming in here until the police arrive. Please don't touch me. I'm not going to touch you. That's fine. No problem. I'm I'll wait till the police arrive, yeah? I'm just going to my phone. That's fine, no problem. Having the writ enables us to enter a property 
at the end of the day, as long as we make a peaceful and lawful entry, I mean, obviously we can't unlock a door, we can't reach our hands in and use keys, etc. But if a door is open, we can turn the handle and walk into a property. I mean, some people find that shocking that they think you can't do that, but it, it can happen and it does happen. I'm just going to have a look around and see if it is his goods. Like her brother, the defendant's sister is shocked by the unannounced arrival of the agents. Are you supposed to just walk into people's houses? Yes, yes. Who, who said? On what authority? On what authority? Of course, sir. Do you want to see the paperwork? Of oh, the court's authority? Yes, the high court. It's not just court, a high court. I've asked him to pay his debt. He doesn't want to pay it, so then I've got to carry on with my job today, which is removing goods to cover the debt outstanding. How much do I owe today? Graham? £3,688.51. Pence. Judgment was against yourself, yeah? Yeah. OK, at this address. Right, well, can you give Hang me on. a couple of days to try and get no, some sir. money sorted? No, sir, we're here now, yeah? So I'm here now to, if you can't pay you it... You don't have to be cross, I'm just trying I'm, to... No, sir, I, I'm not cross. Well, OK, you, you it might be the way I come over it's because I've walked into this house, sir, because I've asked you to pay the debt. You said you can't, so now I've got to seize goods to cover the debt outstanding. OK, that's my job. So I'll ask you once more, sir, can you pay this debt? Well, I'm going to try and... Sort Thank you very much. OK, I'll wait here then until you do that, sir. The defendant now appears to accept the severity of the situation, but his sister is still upset. Well, is there anybody you can call about it? No, we're the people in charge now, I'm afraid. You look like a load of heavies to me. Heavies? Yes. OK. Well, I mean, I should, I, you know, all dressed in black. I assure um, you I'm not. Well, I mean, I just feel there should be somebody he can contact. There is myself, that's why I'm here. I'm a yeah, court enforcement you're agent. The, you're not the company. Well, I've come over to visit my brother to see my mother's grave for the first time. The headstone has just gone up. And um, I arrive here. And then I thought, well, what on earth's going on? And the money is basically so little. My brother's actually been through a very tough time. He's lost his wife, he's lost his baby, he's lost his mother, mm. and he's lost his job. And, you know, every penny counts. But you can't just get money out of the sky immediately. You know, it'll take a few days. I'm just trying to think what, um... Well, let's go privately somewhere and talk about it, shall we? Yeah, I'm not very happy, anyway, if he's allowed to do that. Allowed to do it. He's now obviously gone talking to his sister to get this, see if they can get this resolved. I'm hoping they do get it resolved. The last thing I want to do is remove anything from his property. After a few calls, the defendant has a breakthrough. Money he's owed will be paid later today. What do they do? Transfer it into your account? Yeah, or into there. But Brian and Graham aren't keen to wait much longer, just in the hope that the bill will be paid. What's happening? Well, I've got someone who can do it, but probably not till about 3 o'clock. <laughs> we won't be waiting until 3 o'clock, sir. So what do you need to do? Pardon? I said you can pay you at 3 o'clock this afternoon. OK, well, we'll wait till 3 o'clock this afternoon. So you'll have to start removing it, then? I'm just asking what you're going to remove. OK, let's remove it. You, you, you would rather... Ask me what I'm going to remove. Yeah, I'm asking you yeah. why you can't wait till three o'clock this afternoon. Well, I, can't, I can't wait for two hours. Why I've, not? I've got other people to see. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Her objections have an effect. The agents agree to wait, but only for another two hours. If it isn't paid by three o'clock, then we'll have to yeah. escalate to the well. Do you have young children here, living here? What time do they finish? I would like to get it wrapped up before they come home, you see. I don't want them to come home and see us here. I've got to pick them up at 3.30, right. 4 o'clock. When I'm inside the debtor's house and I'm pushing the boundaries with them, um, I can imagine what they're thinking. But I just try and weigh up the situation and deal with it the right way and appease them. The defendant's sister is visiting, and her presence may have brought in more than just moral support. OK. OK, thank you, sir. Rather than wait for the money he's owed to come through, his sister is offering to pay the entire amount now. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm going to get a card, yeah. I hope we get some signal on here with it. She's a very brilliant sister. Amazing. OK, let's write it. See you, man. Uh, 368851. That's it. All right. Let me just try it and see if it goes. It's got a GPRS signal, so I'm hoping May, uh, will... She only has to enter her PIN number and the agents will be gone. But they need a mobile signal. 
by a GPRS network. So I'm hoping it does. I don't think so. No? But you're optimistic. I'm always optimistic. Not connection failed. Um, when do you get a signal top of the road? No, you've got to go into Dunsfold and then you don't oh, always wow. get a signal. That's what I said when we were coming through, there was no signal. I'm just trying to think if we can get up and get some signal for this chip and pin. You know what? Sometimes at the end of the track it might work. There's only one thing for it. Brian's going to go and try and get a signal on the card reader somewhere. Maybe another 15, 20 minutes we're going to be here, but we need to get this resolved, obviously, so he's going to try and get a signal so she can put a pin and chip in, and that's it. Done. So I'm going to follow her and I'll give her a quick flash. As I get a signal, I'll give her a two or a flash and tell her to start and jump out in the middle of the road and take the chip and pin. I mean, things we do for a payment, you know? I think polite, calling me, you know, and relatively friendly. It was just very aggressive when they first arrived. That was unnecessary because they could see I'm not an aggressive sort of person. And then, of course, they showed me the red, which I hadn't received. Still no signal here. A hideous today's society, you know, all the internets and stuff going on mobile phones. You've got no signal down here. I don't know if I can live down here with that. Oh, come on, get some signal. On a signal. I mean, this is ridiculous. How can you not have a signal? What stuff to do, you know? <laughs> it's not looking good. <laughs> I'll head back to the office and leave Brian there. I think. There's no signal anywhere. Brian checks the device one last time. Woohoo! Bars, we can take a, a card payment. So let's pull over here. It's almost safe for both of us. Thank you so much. If you just put your pin in and press the green button, please. After a few anxious moments, payment is confirmed. There we go, all done. That's for you. No, thank you. Thank you very much, madam. I have got an amazing sister. She's been absolutely incredible. She lent me the money to sort it out. It was very lucky she was here, because otherwise I don't know what I would have done.